we go out onto the Comic Con stage in this room that they've set up for us where we're airing the, the show for, you know, on the big screen. We outsold the auditorium that we were going to have for the initial pilot, and we had to buy an auditorium that would seat a lot more people. We were so confused because we're like, okay, wait, did we miss it? They haven't even seen it yet. Why is there 4,000 people screaming in a room for Lost? And so we're all kind of backstage, like, nudging each other, going, what the heck, what is going on? And then they sat down very patiently and, and listened to the introduction about the show. And we turned it on, and, and everyone just loved it. And we sit down in the front row of the audience and quietly watch it without anyone else knowing that we're in the room with them. And just hearing people, like, laugh when something was funny or gasp when something was scary, I had shivers all down my whole body because the terrible thing about something being on TV is that you never get to see your audience enjoy it, which is what you do it for. And so to be in that room and have people who really wanted it to be good and then get to interact with them was a total trip. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Then these, these internet sites just started coming out of nowhere with, you know, 40,000 hits on the first day and, and people were already projecting ideas about you know, they're all dead, or it's somebody's dream, or, you know, they've flown to this different island, it's a research centre, and, you know, the interest just from seeing the pilot before it had even televised was so strong that we knew that it was going to be gold dust. <laughs>